officially in the end game and we have one of the best firewall builds in the game for sork in the end game this is a really really cool and fun build super super tanky and just an overall really fun play style to play coming into our skill trees guys we're gonna have two points one is going to be in fireball and one is going to be in arc lash we're not using any basic attacks however we do have to take points in just to get down to our core skills so in core skills we're also not taking any core skills however we still need points to get down into our defensive skills so we're going to take one point into potent warning and we're going to take three points into devastation to increase our mana we're using no core and no basic attacks on this build we have so much mana sustain we're going to be able to just launch firewalls back to back to back Okay, so now down into our defensive skills, guys. We are going to be doing... Oh, let's get our firewalls going. We are going to be doing Flame Shield into Shimmering Flame Shield, which is going to give us 50% of our more life. This also makes us unstoppable and gives us a little bit of move speed for the duration. We're always going to have barriers up, which is going to give us increased damage. So this is very, very strong. Okay, then of course we're going Teleport into Shimmering Teleport for the damage reduction. Teleport is really, really good on our skills, or excuse me, our equipment. We do not have the remnants. When we get it, then we're going to put as many points as we can into Teleport. But until then, we just have one into Shimmering Teleport. Three into Glass Cannon. This is just really, really strong. Gives you, allows you to do more damage. Ice Shards, or excuse me, Ice Armor into Enhanced Ice Armor just for Mana Regen. And also gives us a shield. Then we're doing as many points as possible into Frost Nova. This build relies on frost nova no matter what you have to have it for this build to be super super effective so max this out this also gives us the lowest amount of cooldown which allow us to keep resetting it we got the butcher into in mystical frost nova which will make them vulnerable this is our only way to make enemies vulnerable for six seconds which will allow us to do a crap ton of damage during the rotations as you guys saw in the gameplay you're going to be able to freeze them and the six seconds is long enough to be able to kill those monsters so now we're going to come down to our conjuration skills we're just taking passives here we're going to take a line that elements for just a little bit of damage reduction and then we're doing max into protection as well as mana shield okay if you wanted to out of mana shield for every time you spend 100 mana you gain damage reduction you could just split these two and get these this is really really strong and then three points into protection which is going to give us a barrier based on our maximum life for two seconds we're always going to have this because all of our skills require cooldown except for firewall next down into our master skills guys we are doing meteor into wizard meteor now you're going to ask yourself well why wizard meteor over fireball if you like fireball for the explosion that is really strong however i really like the wizard meteor so that way every time a meteor drops down and immobilizes enemies which is going to give us a real big shift in damage however there is one other way that you can do this if you don't want to run a meteor you can take these three points and put them into crippling flames and hopefully on a lucky hit you make them immobilized and then what you could do is come up and take points into fireball into greater fireball for your enchantment slot to give you that so that way on the explosion you could do that either one is particularly fine we definitely want the immobilize but i like meteor better then we're taking inner flames pyromancy skills deal nine percent increased damage while we're healthy we're always going to be healthy no matter what then i only have five points here because my gear i don't have any you know buffs into firewall but you want to get as many equipment slots that buff firewall as possible this is our main damage dealer all the way down to Mage's Firewall, we want to keep enemies burning as long as humanly possible. The build really, really synergizes between all the enemies burning. Now we're going to come down and we're taking our ultimate skills. We're taking or Inferno into Supreme Inferno. This just allows us to really group mobs up, freeze them, and then just pop unlimited firewalls for a short time because it, it's while it's active, our Power Mancy skills cost no mana, which allows us to just spam firewalls super strong. Then we're taking one point into permafrost. That's irrelevant. We only need that to get to hoarfrost. You deal 9% increased damage to chilled enemies and 18% increased damage to frozen enemies. So when we freeze them with uh, frost nova, we're going to get a huge boost in our damage. Then we're going to be taking one point into fiery surge for just mana regeneration. We don't really need this. We have so much mana regeneration. This is fine. However, if you don't like endless prior for more, a uh, little bit more damage for burning, then you could put more mana regeneration in here but trust me you're going to be fine on mana regeneration then we're taking three points into warp this is by far 
the best skill for the build and why we remain super, super tanky. This is gonna, every time, uh, for every second we heal for part of our maximum life for each nearby enemy burning. Okay, and it increases while we were fighting bosses. Every enemy is burning, so we're gonna be literally invincible on top of our barriers from ice armor and flame shield. Next for our key passives, I take shatter. However, shatter is really good in combination with fireball. However, if you wanna swap this out, you can definitely do uh, combustion because of the recent update to fix it. Your burning effects deal 2% increased damage per unique source of burning. And if there's three, then it doubles. I don't know exactly how this works, guys. I'm not going to tell you because I think that three different firewalls is three unique sources. However, if it's different, it's going to be flame shield, firewall, or meteor on top of inferno. And that's going to be the way to trigger it. Both are really, really good. It just depends. I like the upgrade with uh, deep freeze. Nice. I like the upgrade with shatter, but then go combustion. Uh, so that is going to be the key passive that we are going to use. Now for the juicy part, guys, when it comes to our enchantment slots as well as our gear. So in the enchantment slots, like I said, you can run Meteor or Fireball. Those are going to be your two best for explosions. If you're running Fireball, I definitely suggest to combine that with Shatter. If you're running Meteor, do Combustion. Then, of course, the other one is going to be Firewall. You have to do this one, which is going to be super strong. It has a chance to have two additional firewalls that are going to spawn beneath the enemies for three seconds just does even more fire damage so into our you or excuse me our gear which is very very important however i do want to make a huge note here we do not have the remnants uh chest piece that would just make the building and just even better because of the stun effects however we're not running it and that way you guys can just run something similar to this until you find it and then you that way you know the build works just fine so starting off we are going um the fortune or the sovereign helm our lucky hit chance is increased by 14 percent while we have a barrier we will always have a barrier and this will help proc all of our lucky hit stuff then we're in our chest piece we're doing misery on a lucky hit when you hit a crowd controlled enemy there's a chance for it to uh can spread and control to other enemies this includes our freeze this includes ours uh, immobilize this includes all of these things to all the enemies which just makes this build really really good for crowd control in our gloves dealing increased damage while we have a barrier pretty self-explanatory then in our pants disobedience is by far one of the best ones that you can have for the increased armor just makes us super super tanky in our boots we are doing one of two different boots you could do these boots where you have a 20 percent increased crowd control duration and then while enemies are unstoppable you do more damage or you come down and you do ghost weaver or ghost walker and then you have the increased um, movement speed while you're unstoppable which you would get from flame shield into our weapons distant enemies are going to have a chance to uh be stunned but we're going to do 40 percent increased damage to stun however this isn't working at the moment because we're not stunning everything this is going to combine very very well once we get the remnant chest piece so i'm just prepping for that otherwise you guys you pretty much have free reign in your melee weapon for this uh, there's only other probably one other one that you would really take i would guess but for now this is what we're taking in our amulet we're doing control you deal increased damage uh to enemies that are immobilized frozen or stunned in our rings prodigies this is huge you have to have this using a cooldown restores mana this helps our mana sustain everything is a cooldown between teleport ice armor frost nova inferno and flame shield so we're going to get a huge amount of cooldown back last but not least is edge masters skills deal increased damage based on available primary resource when this is full we get the most back for it and then in our offhand we are doing a storm swell you deal increased damage to vulnerable enemies while we have a barrier we're always going to have a barrier and when we freeze we are going to be able to do um make them vulnerable through frost nova so we're going to get a huge amount of damage so that is the build guys as far as the gear so now we're going to go into the rotation and just show you how to play this with some gameplay. Again, drop a firewall, pop a shield, freeze. Then you're going to burn them alive and they're just going to die. You get major, major control from this and they're just insta-dead. That is your rotation, guys. Uh, on Off and on, pop your shield. Make sure you always have your barrier up. Teleport when you need to. And that is firewall in a nutshell. Okay, the build is very, very strong super super fun especially if you don't want to be playing ice or playing uh chain lightning or 
what is it? Storm? Not storm. Excuse me. Electrical skills. Electrical. Why am I saying electrical? It's not electrical. It's uh, shock. It's shock skills if you don't want to be playing those. So in the last part, guys, we are going to go over the Paragon Tree for you guys. This is up to level 76. You're going to be able to get three full boards out of this, which I think is really, really cool. And it gives you a really nice set of one legendary node as well as three glyphs that makes your build really really strong so starting out we're going to come up and we're going to grab elementalist this is just going to give us some more um damage reduction then we're coming in and we're taking control everything is going to be crowd controlled so we're going to be able to do a increased damage to them which is going to be awesome we want control then we're taking another elemental balance node which is going to be sweet we're going to go all the way up and we're going to be taking tactician for more damage against burning enemies and damage reduction however you could do exploit here which is really really strong either one is really good if you wanted to do exploits that is definitely a really strong option here you could definitely do exploit for more vulnerable damage come all the way up we're going to take kindling for more burning damage then we're going to take uh, keeper of flames for more damage reduction then we're taking burning instinct for just a huge damage boost uh, then we're going to come over to our third and final board. We're not going to be taking Frigid Gate or Frigid Fate. I'm, excuse me. We're going to come all the way up and we're going to grab Weakness for more vulnerable damage. Then we're taking Adept, which is going to be huge for Mastery Skill Damage. And our skills have a 20% increased area. Uh, Firewall is a Mastery Skill. Then we're taking uh, Chilling. We don't really have the bonus part yet, but you'll get this uh, when you get to level 100. As well as Oppressive for more vulnerable damage, which you will also get with a little bit more dex. Then we're coming down and taking Guarded for damage reduction against vulnerable enemies. And we're doing even more damage reduction, which just makes us super, super tough. Yeah, guys, that is Firewall. It's super, super strong. I've been using it all the way up till now, but we're going to be switching into Ice Shards as well as uh, Ball Lightning, which is going to be really, really cool. We'll have those videos up for you guys soon. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do like the video. Comment down below. What do you guys? Let me know what you guys think about Firewall. Uh, in comparison to lightning as well as ice shards or blizzard and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace